history. With the formation of the Barbados Workers' Union in 1941, October 4th, with the formation of subsequent unions, as we heard this evening, the precursor to the Barbados Secondary Teachers Union in 1946, with the ability of women to have the right to vote, with the enfranchisement of Barbadians allowing over 95,000 people to vote for the first time in this country in 1951, coming from 3,500 in 1937, with Granny Adams appropriately leaving that debate in the House of Assembly across the Constitution River from here, and recognizing that the ability for ordinary agents to vote without having to own property, giving them a chance to shape this country in their own image and for their own purposes, allowing us to therefore walk that walk that would build our democracy and hence his name as the father of democracy. And with his continuation of the work of Sir Hugh Springer, ensuring that the holiday with pay victory that was won in the early days of the Barbados Workers Union was able to become not simply the benefit of one week's holiday pay, but holiday pay by law for all workers in this country. We then, apart from the labor enfranchisement, went on to see in the early days the beginnings of the social enfranchisement with the commitment to build the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and the other clinics, with the commitment to build the schools that would allow us to open up educational enfranchisement as a singular move with Sir Grantley building what is now known after him. It was then called West St. Joseph, now known as the Grantley Adams School, Richmond, now known as St. Leonard School, Parkinson, not Parkinson, Princess Margaret, and, and Parkinson, Parkinson came after. And ensuring that we then, with the literal writing on a piece of paper by a pen, Errol Barrow was able to usher in free education for all Barbadians, starting the beginnings there from of economic enfranchisement. Yes, 